This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I create polygroups based on UV islands? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a sphere object here loaded in. Now this sphere object has a set of UV coordinates already applied. So if we go to the tool palette over here, and I go down to the UV map tab, you'll see that this delete UV button here will be enabled. And then if I go down to the texture map area, and then go to the create menu here, and now do new from UV check, you'll see this is what the object's UVs look like. So you can see it has all these little UV islands spread across the entire model. So the question is asking if there is a way that you can look at the UV islands that are on this map and turn these UV islands into polygroups. So if I go back to my model here and I activate polyframes, you can see I have one single polygroup across the entire model. And instead of having just this one polygroup, I want to apply polygrouping based on these UV islands. So to do this, you just need to make sure you have a model loaded in that contains UV mapping. And then you just need to navigate to the tool palette, then go to the polygroups area here, and directly underneath the auto groups button is a button called auto groups with UV. And so what this button is going to do, it's going to look at the topology and also the UV islands on the model. So with this model here, it's one single geometry island, but then it contains multiple UV islands. So if I click this button, it's going to look at the geometry and also those islands, and now I'm gonna get this result. So it's gone through and it's looked at the UV islands on the model, and now I have a different polygroup for each UV island. Now after you have these created, you can now use things like panel loops. So I can go to the tool palette up here, I can go to the geometry tab, and then go to the edge loop area, and then I can click this panel loops button here, and this will look at all those polygroups, and then it's going to generate panel loops from those, and now you can end up creating things like soccer balls relatively quick and easily. So if you have any questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!